everybody, I just wanted to share this cool little trick I just learned this morning. I was giving a mandolin lesson to one of our members, a private lesson, uh, Bill Ferguson. Thanks, Bill. And by mistake, he slid his hand up one fret to jam a major scale with me. And we realized that it's the same as the blues scale. Check it out. So D major scale. <laughs> Hopefully you all know that. But if you just slide your hand up into second position, now this is something I do all the time, but I never thought about teaching it this way. So I get as close to the camera here. So there's your normal fingering for a major. So slide your hand up to F natural. And keep your fingers the same. Space, close. Keep your hand right in second position. C, D. Now the, the next note, it's not a blues little note, so you have to leave that note out. So and there's your D. So open. What well, used to be low two, now first finger, second finger G, a lowered three, kind of low four kind of thing, or high three. So major. Kind of a cool little trick. I never thought about teaching it that way before. So just slide your hand up a half step from major and you'll be in the same tonics blues scale. So D major, D blues. Or A major. Slide your hand up. An easy way to play it. G major. G blues. I'll put the uh, the fingering charts for this up too. Uh, so second position. I know a lot of you are not really comfortable with second position, but think about it. It's just a matter of sliding your hand up a half step, and you'll be in blues land. Hope that helps. I'm excited about it. Thanks, Bill. Hey, I need to add one little post note to that. I neglected to say that this trick, this fingering trick, is only really good for the keys of G, D, and A. It makes it super easy. Remember, the fiddle jam thing is the cool stuff the easy way. I'm all about making it easy not to make you lazy, but to make it so you don't have to think much and get the most out of uh, your playing. So, improvising at least. So, to review quickly, G, G blues. It doesn't work so much on other skills. You could, I guess, use it with a movable fingering form, like say E flat. which doesn't have any open strings. So to make this trick happen, you'd have to keep the first finger one place and slide all the other fingers up. It's kind of an awkward stretch. If you got big hands, it could work for you. It's not necessarily easy though, but for G, D, and A, it is. Remember, fiddle jam, the cool stuff, the easy way, that's what we're all about here, all right? At least at first, because I want you to think less and get more goosebumps. Okay, hope that helps.